Good evening and welcome to tonight's open house activities. We're so excited to launch this new year at Nate Mac and we're really glad that you're here to help us get things started. My name is Nancy Heavey and I'm the principal here at Nate Mac. I'm here with Noemi Arias, the assistant principal, and we are the administrative team here. We wanted to take a few minutes this evening before the activities start in the classrooms just to talk for a few minutes about some general things that we want you to know about our school and about how we conduct business here and really what we're all about. So I wanted to start by talking about our core values here at Nate Mac. We've got three or four things that we really hold near and dear to our hearts and we want to be sure that we communicate that with you. The first thing that I'd like you to know is that we hold our students near and dear in our hearts and they are the center of what we do. We make sure that we build positive relationships with them because we really feel that they do their best learning when they connect with us here at school. So one of the things that we truly believe is having that positive relationship with every single student. And you'll find that from all of the adults here at Nate Mac. Another one of our core values is diversity. We really believe in inclusive practices and we take that a step further and we want every single family and member in our community to feel comfortable coming to Nate Mac and to feel that school is a place for them, not just for their kids, but for their whole family. So please know that you're always welcome here at our school. Another one of our core values is something that we refer to as the growth mindset. What this means is that we don't want to define ourselves or our students just by what they're good at or by what they're not good at. We recognize that we're all works in progress and that we're getting better every single day. So we use something called the power of yet when we're describing things that we're working on. So we hope that you'll hear from us and from your boys and girls at home about the power of yet and about how they're getting better every single day. We hold some other core values very, very central to what we do. One of those things is family engagement. Another one is strong communication. And we'd like to talk to you a little bit more about those things in depth right now. As Mrs. Huey said, we do have some very important information to share with you. One of that is that safety is a top priority for us here at Nate Mac. You might have already noticed that we have increased our supervision during morning recess time, after school time, and also during our recess. We want to remind you that there are a lot of little ones that are around the community. So please drive safely, follow all posted signs, and only cross the streets during the at the designated crosswalks. Please follow all posted signs, like I said, and if you have any questions about any of our new procedures, please call the office. And we will have some signs posted around the gates to give you some information on those gate um, hours in which you may use them. We do um, secure the campus at eight in the morning, and then we will unlock the gates again at 2 p.m. and securing the campus back up again at 2.30. Give us a call if you have any questions regarding student safety. It's really important for families to have an after-school plan. We wanna be sure that every student, when they come to school, they know how they're getting home. So please take some time to discuss where your child goes after school with them so they know if they're going to safe key, if they're getting on the bus, or where to meet you at the end of the day. I'd like to talk next about family engagement. That's one of our number one goals here at Nate Mac. And family engagement to us means bringing the whole family into the school environment and making sure that you feel comfortable and that you feel valued here. Family engagement takes many different forms, but one of the things that we rely on and depend on and hope for are volunteers. We have volunteer training tomorrow morning, Friday, at 8 o'clock a.m. in the multi-purpose room. If you hope to volunteer at our school, either as a chaperone or in the classroom or anywhere throughout our school, it is essential that you come to this volunteer training. If you're not available at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, please call the school and we'll arrange to 
train you up on a different day in a different way. But you do need to be sure that you have volunteer training before you start volunteering at our school. Mrs. Hebe talked about all these important things and really we need your support with attendance. It is impossible to recreate the lessons, activities, and conversations that students have um, in re this regular school day. So when students are absent, they really do miss out. So please try to limit absences to emergencies or when the students are sick. If you do have a prearranged absence, please communicate that with the teachers and the office. Other than that, please make sure your children are ready to go in the morning on time with a healthy breakfast and their materials. Another one of our core values is good communication. And this is an area that we're always working to improve. We'd love it if you would get in the habit of checking our school website on a regular basis. We are so excited to launch a new and improved site where you can get up-to-date information, fun activities, resources for students and parents. So please don't forget to visit our website. Um, that's where you will find our Sunday Stories with staff and you don't want to miss out on that. See you on the website. We also really value two-way communication and we count on you with this partnership that we're making this year we, to the benefit of your child. We count on you to communicate with us and we can do that by phone, by email, or in person. Please know that we will contact you directly to celebrate wonderful things that are happening here at school with your child. But we also may contact you directly if we need your help in solving a problem. I hope that you're open to that because it really does take a partnership. Please know that if there are behavior challenges throughout the year, you may find your child coming home with a behavior citation. If they do bring home a citation, please don't panic. Just know that it is a reminder. It's a written form of a reminder and hopefully a, a talking point for you at home. Anytime a child brings home a citation, it means that they've, they've broken a school rule or um, they've disregarded one of our expectations or um, what, something that, that they should be doing here at school. Um, and what we do is we talk with the student about it and then we issue that citation. There's no further action required except for maybe a discussion at home, a signature, and then that citation comes back to us here at school. If a student ever gets three citations or more, we will contact you directly, usually by phone, and perhaps ask you to come in and help us to, to maybe dig a little bit deeper in, in solving the problem. Um, so please don't worry. We, we're in this together, and we really do believe that, that children are going to bring their best every single day. With that, we'd like to say good night from us. Your teachers have lots of important information to be sharing with you from this point on. So get comfortable and be ready to learn lots about your child's classroom. Thanks for being part of the Nate Mac community and we hope to see you lots this year. Good night.